Hey everyone, it's Lieb. Today I would like to show you how I use the auto build feature to make some of my block designs, particularly in Atomic Cannon 3, but it can be applied to anything. I wanted to make this video because there's a lot of people that don't really understand how to use the auto build feature. I just want to make a video that's as simple as possible. If you want a full comprehensive tutorial, go somewhere else. I'm not doing that. This is just how I use it. And I don't want to feed you guys something that I don't personally use. So, as you can see, I have some structures here made with the auto build blocks. You can find those on the very first tab on the very last page. It is this block here. Uh, and let's go ahead and click on it and click on edit special. So this is the menu that you'll see uh, when you open it. A lot of complicated buttons, but I'm just going to show you exactly what I do. So first I'm going to go into the browser. I've already got a test template in here, but I'm going to create a new one. Just call it test2, and let's click browse. Now you're going to see a bunch of open templates in here. Basically what you have to do is create every single one. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's much better than the alternative, and it saves so much time. Please just do it it will make your creating process so much faster. So you're gonna go and click on every single one. Another thing that's important when you're using this, make sure you have the right template selected, right? It defaulted to test, I'm selecting test two. Once you do that, every single template will be spawned in just like this. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the block designs for each and every one. So start off, I'm going to do the lines. now. These blocks on the outside of the full auto build blocks are a reference. So for example, we look at this block here. This is as if we had a block like this. And so we're just going to delete that one. And here we go. We it's just this block. You can do the same method all the way down if you would like. Uh, something that's important when you come across a block like this, not only do you have to put this outline on, but you have to put the corner piece or else you're going to get a bunch of, bunch of open corner pieces. We don't want that. So to cl help clarify the difference between this block and this block, I'm going to show you what they look like without the auto build feature. Because there's this corner piece block right here, we don't actually need the corner piece in that spot. Whereas there's no block right here. So, got to get rid of those. And you're going to do the same thing all the way down. Uh, I'm going to do it in three, two, one. There we go. We have all of our blocks. You definitely want to make sure that you double check and make sure you have all your corner pieces in the right spot. And it looks like we do. So now, I'm going to move on to the easy part of this process. We're going to place the background block. You'll notice that I'm using different layers, and the layers actually do get carried over from block design to block design, just like that. We're done with this. Now let's move on to the outside part of the block design, which is the 3D and the glow. So just like we did with the inside, we're going to place the glow around it as if this was an actual block. So this glow would be, act like this, this glow would act like this. Similarly, when you're doing 3D on the outside, you want to make sure that it is in line with the blocks that you are using. So, you would be tempted on a block like this to place this here because that's what it looks like with the block but that is not how that block works treat it as a full block and it will save you a lot of trouble later on so i'm going to go ahead and place everything in three two one and there we go everything has been placed you can see that these 3d and and glow pieces get a little bit complicated so just make sure you're checking your work and making sure that everything is good to go. So now I'm going to do one last outline on the inside like this. 
like I normally do for my block designs, and I'm going to get that done in three, two, one. We have all of our black outlines, including the corner pieces. Don't forget those on all of our blocks. So now I think we are at a spot where we are ready to make this our full template. So when you're all done, you are going to select everything. You're going to make sure you're on the all tab on your layers and you're going to go through select absolutely everything. You're going to click edit special. You're going to go to your browser again. Make sure you have the right thing selected. You know, it says right now there is required missing. There are 46 templates. We're just going to make sure that we have this selected. We're going to go back and click this blue template button. Even though it looks like nothing happened, if we go back to the auto build feature, go to browser, look at edit, it looks, it'll actually say that we have 47 out of 46. It's because we have this block right here, which is not a required template. But let's go back here, look at the browse, and you can see all of your blocks imported in. Now to make sure that they're all correct, if you click this paste template button, it will paste every single block design. It looks like this square is actually not right. Oh yeah, silly me, I forgot to put the 3D on this one. See, mistakes do happen. And I'll show you how to update your template if that's the case. You'll notice that sometimes these inner block designs have messed up 3D. That's just the nature of the template. Sometimes they're going to have errors like right here. Those can be manually fixed when you're actually working through your block designs. It looks like other than that small mistake that we made, everything looks good. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And then I'm going to show you how to update a template that's broken. So this was this block that wasn't working. I'm going to go to Edit Special. I'm going to go to Browser. Go to Edit. I'm going to Browse again. I'm going to click on the block that's not functioning properly. I'm going to click on here. I'm going to click Delete. And then I'm just going to go through here and click template again. And now if we go back, it should be fixed. Now that we've done that, we have our block designs here. We're just going to go select it all and click this create button. And as you can see here, we have our outlined block designs. Now for 3D pieces like this, you're just going to have to go in and manually fix it. It's just the auto build feature right now. It's just not that good yet. So you're going to have to fix those manually. And there you have it. That is how I use auto build to make my block designs. Now, obviously, these are nowhere close to how complicated my designs are in Atomic Cannon Mark III. In order to make every part of that, I used an auto build for the outside aspect. I used an auto build for the designs I had in the middle. So I had blocks here and I pasted that template there. And I also had auto, auto build blocks for the wires I have inside each of them. So like these for a part, like if I had wires that went in the middle like this, I actually had an auto build feature that made that for me. So you can use auto build for every single aspect of your block. And you can also now go through all your layers and edit anything. You can do a lot with this. Um, this is just a very simple tutorial. If you want more, you can ask me, you can send me a message on my Discord server, the Leave Club, which is about to hit 600 members, probably has as of recording this. Or you could just shoot me a message in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer anything. Uh, this is a little out of character for me to do a tutorial video, but I figured that you would all appreciate it. And I hope you got something out of it. And if not, well, you're watching to the end, and that's, that's helpful for me. Thanks again, everyone, and have a great rest of your day.